In the last video, we looked at the Assumptions tab and established a foundation for the remainder of the model. And in this video, we'll look at the Revenue and Expense Driver tabs, which are colored in the blue here. But before we start, I want to make a couple changes to the Assumptions tab. So first off, said that the uh, cost of living increase was 3% and I accidentally put 5% for the part-time staff. So let me go ahead and change that. And then we need to actually go ahead and, and enter the loan repayment schedule. So let's say it's 10% per year. this over so that's 30,000 and drag that over all right so let's go ahead and start with the uh, revenue tab here and we don't need to add any additional data to this tab as all the calculations are automatically pulled from the assumptions tab the data is summarized so you can easily analyze the total revenues as well as the total renewals new subscribers and lost subscribers. And next we have tabs for the full and part-time employees. And again, most of the data is pulled from the assumptions tab. However, we do need to enter data for the total number of employees and their wages, bonuses, and annual raises. And just remember, we already took into account the cost of living increase. Okay, so for full-time employees, we probably need Let's say two engineers. Say we also need a sales engineer and a marketing director. And then for general and administrative, we will need an office manager and then also an owner, which is you. So let me go ahead and put that down. So let me just go ahead and enter the basic numbers here. We can tailor that in a second. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this here. So after the first year, we can probably get rid of the office manager to help save money. So I'm gonna change that to zero. However, after the third year, we should ramp up our sales and engineering teams. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump that up to three, three, and then two more employees here. And then as far as the sales engineer, I'll go ahead and bump that up to two. So next, let's go ahead and enter the wages, bonuses, and annual raises. So wages will stay the same over the five years. So let's say 75,000. The sales engineer, let's say 70,000. And then 80,000 from the director. Fifty thousand for the office manager, and ninety thousand for you. So bonuses. Let's say bonuses are going to start kicking in once we have revenue over one one million. So let's take a look at the revenue tab here, and that's going to be after year four. And we'll say everyone will get a four thousand dollar annual raise each year, or I'm sorry, an annual bonus. And then everyone will get a $5,000 annual raise each year.
and you can see that the rest of the data here is pulled from the assumptions tab and so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video now and enter the data for the part-time employees and as you can tell this tab is set up the exact same as the full-time employee tab okay so the remaining data has been entered for the part-time employees and let's go ahead and move on to the funding tab and so when you get to this tab the first thing that you actually may notice is there could be some calculation errors uh, down here and that's due to some circular reference issues and if that's the case you want to go ahead and, and press control O on your keyboard and that will manually calculate the interest rate which will fill in the remaining values and fix all the errors so uh, everything is correct right now so go ahead and move on to the expenses tab and all this information is pretty straightforward we have the direct expenses here these some fixed costs and or I'm sorry some some uh, variable costs and then we also have um, most of the uh, operating expenses here are going to be fixed costs and again for uh, time's sake I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and enter this data alright so now I got all that data entered so now if you take a look at the graph here, we can see the revenue versus expenses, and there's already cause for concern. As you can see, the expenses are higher than the revenue. But let's go ahead and move on and see what the final bottom line is before changing any of our assumptions. So the next tab we have capital expenditures. So let's just go ahead and say in the first year we need ten thousand dollars worth of computer equipment it's 2013 which will depreciate over five years and then in 2016 we're gonna purchase another ten thousand dollars worth of computer equipment which will also depreciate over five years and for now let's go ahead and assume that we're not going to dispose of any of the equipment alright well that includes the revenue and expenses ramp up in the next video we'll go over the financial statements and then do a bit of analysis see you next time thank you